Dear friends, good afternoon. Uh, I'm delighted and I thank the organizers uh, to give me the chance to, uh, from the dream, uh, the, that my dream will become true, I, I hope so, at the end of this conference. Thank you very much, dear friends, dear, dear ladies and gentlemen. Gospodja Predsjedavajuća, hvala vam lepo. So, uh, I remember this morning uh, the, uh, uh, the ambassador of, of uh, Cameroon used to say a wonderful keyword, action. I'm a bloody engineer, satellite communication expert for, I don't, I, I, I was just, I think, uh, when Arthur C. Clarke launched the, his idea, I was his pupil. So definitely, I've spent all my life in satellite communication, and uh, when five years ago we had a very interesting conference in Slovenia, uh, Europe for Africa, Africa for World, uh, I start to think how to help to the young people knowing terrible situation about, on, uh, uh, about education, about the people that are not going to the school. So I, I start to think how we could use satellite communication, interactive, for the, let's call it satellite schools. And when the, we this May made acquaintance, uh, Miro, uh, the, the Ru, and myself, uh, I'm really delighted that uh, we will talk about this implementation, about the special and very tough problem of Lake Chad. I will skip this word that is well known, and uh, um, I would like immediately like to see what, how, how satellite system uh, uh, could be implemented in achieving the UN SDGs. Uh, we know that climatic change have proud, profound effect to co communities around Lake Chad, including refugees. Historically, it is now a historical moment for action in accordance with the UN Agenda 2030. Uh, satellite communication could be immediately applied for the SNG 3, 4, 13, and 15, addressable also to SDG 5, 6, 11, and 17. Uh, of course, main problem in, in our world, in our case, is the lack of communication and information exchange. So, uh, my key words are to connect and to communicate over satellite immediately and right now. So, possibility of the implementation of satellite internet connectivity, you are now aware of the, the beauty of satellite. Uh, uh, they are available immediately for the uh, seven days a week everywhere. Instant internet connectivity for urban uh, remote areas, high throughput and quality of service, uh, bridging digital divide, uh, and this is very important. They are efficient, economy, economy uh, feasible, and could be multi-service, of course. Internet via satellite, uh, here is the coverage of uh, Chad and this region. Uh, for the need of primary health care, for the needs of primary and secondary education, the, the, the technology exists, utils at new, new tech uh, as potential partners of, 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 for us, provide very efficient and expensive IPT connectivity in Africa. Uh, to support pro poverty, poverty reduction and promote peace. Uh, the first uh, step to reducing the digital divide in developing countries. Another interesting solution is also satellite remote service. Uh, this is uh, a service uh, completely different than just stationary orbit satellites, but they are wonderful for control of late child ecosystem, uh, prevention and control of the catastrophic events, border control, control of inevitable unwanted migrants movement, control of mine, forestry, piracy, poaching. It, it exists in UNOSAT like, like an old service, but now, right now, inside the EU uh, is, was launched the Copernicus program, uh, real-time remote sensing supporting SDGs, which is well recognized under the, the umbrella of the UN. Uh, this is very, uh, this sentence I like very much because uh, I, uh, my mother was professor, so that's the reason why uh, from the broadcasting satellite I turned myself to e-learning and e-health. 
Education is the most powerful weapon when we, uh, which we can use to change the world. It, it's true. I think that Madame Professor is of the same opinion. So education is the main lever for the realization of SDGs, uh, information of the future leaders, because you are the guys, those two young, young people, they, are, they will be the ruler in 10 days, in 10 years. Mm -hmm. We will pass away, lucky we, but you, the youth, are the, 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 the beauty of this blue planet that we spoil so much. Uh, so, uh, I don't like to tell you so, uh, so sad story about that 57 millions uh, of uh, young boys and girls are not enrolled in the schools in developing countries, especially in, in sub-Saharan Africa, and, and that is something well known. But give them the solution to do this. I have here the wonderful uh, uh, old-fashioned black table, uh, 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 blackboard, uh, 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 little how, a little schoolyard under the baobab, or what I don't know which uh, which tree is. But definitely, the, we could change this. Uh, uh, but uh, we could use this uh, 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 introducing s uh, schools by a satellite. On, uh, our initiative is an attractive, concrete response to the resolution of this problem. Proposal for basic primary education as first step. The common big white tent or local big tree can be used as a virtual school. Definitely, we uh, during the, the presentation of the uh, um, Mr. for the, the Ministry of Chad, I heard the, 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 the wonderful, not wonderful, sad story about that 70 percent of the, the schools in, in Chad are, are not bricked one, not, not normally we build that they are on, on under pipe. So uh, uh, the common big tree could be or not to be, but definitely we could we could. Uh, uh, Propose the satellite primary school model. Uh, equal rights to education to all ch children, a simple satellite solution for children in rural and migrant camps not included in prim primary education. This exists in some, some countries already. And I would like that we are clear enough today that we will introduce pilot project basic unit for a primary school education via satellite. Uh, and this means that this, the problem is not solved. The satellite is only infrastructural segment for distribution of educational content, which can, could be produced, from, for example, in uh, Bangor, uh, the nearest school, and re broadcast, retransmitted over satellite one week after that. So we don't need the teachers. We don't. The, the, we don't. We have to have some operator that could uh, push the button and switch off and switch on. This is something that is also interesting for the, f near, for the future, connecting villages. And here is the, 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 the not catch-22, but real, real uh, good. Uh, look a little bit on the, sh on the numbers. How much does it cost? One complete uh, equipment per site is less than 2,000 euros is it is it much uh, in, uh, enough uh, to uh, that we could on, could not offer to the kids education no it is not for example we made some some calculation that uh, for testing uh, of uh, 50 schools uh, for primary education the total amount is somebody uh, somewhere about 150 kilo euros so Proposal for the next action. Yes, currently we we are all, uh, we are looking to the SDG three and four for basic primary school and for, uh, for primary healthcare units, and also we have to think about remote control and monitoring, utilizing satellite, other satellite services. Uh, the, this proposal relies on the existing satellite networks adapted to the rural African areas, and it requests support of all uh, for a realization of the pilot project uh, on the Lake Chai region. Concrete short-term activities. We, uh, yes. 
<laughs> Hvala. <laughs> so, uh, we would like to, to implement first phase, short-term activities to link the primary healthcare unit in Hôpital uh, Abaptin, Van Gogh, uh, to connect with regional and international healthcare centers, linking General Nejamena Hospital with Centre Hospitalier de l'Université de Liège, and e-learning project providing internet access to the uh, Endal ICTU Center in Van Gogh for e-learning. Long term, full cooperation will involve international organization, agency must be established, define the strong strategic goals and in creation action plan. My proposal is because I'm, I'm, I'm uh, an engineer that spent his life in application development uh, business, uh, we have to establish something that I call Lake Chad Regional SDG Agency that will take care about, about these activities and to realize concrete preparation for uh, next year's school year and the uh, first half of the, the, the next year we, have, we must have some results. Conclusions? Most important will be cooperation for, with the Lake Chad Basin Commission. Concrete cooperation with EU on this pilot project is necessary in accordance with plan of EEC, uh, uh, assistance to Africa, assistance to Africa, EU fight against the migrant crisis and addressing the issue. Uh, I will leave you to look to this. I don't like to have the situation on the right side of the slide. I prefer to that we have the kids Happy kids on 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 the on the, uh, uh, on the spot uh, that don't leave their villages and their uh, 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 their towns. And I would like to to to, to remind you on the West, this sentence that the uh, New Yorker uh, published: the West would be uh, would be wise to take like child crisis seriously, lest the millions seeking sanctuary in the region decide to move toward toward the Europe. They are welcome, but. There, there, will, there will be no future in that sense. We could offer the, 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 to those people the tools to, to live and to have the decent life. Thank you very much. Thank Gospodin. you very much.